The answer to poverty did not come from an Ivy League college or a Washington think tank. It came from Bangladesh. In 1976, Muhammad Yunus, a young economics professor, encountered a group of women who appeared to be running profitable cottage industries. Yet, they and their children were starving. Village loan sharks charged them so much interest that the women could barely scratch out a living. Dr. Yunus lent the women small amounts of money out of his own pocket. The women flourished, and Grameen Bank was born. Grameen Bank has grown into a powerful force for social change. It has lent more than $4 billion and now serves more than 3 million borrowers. 95% are women. A 1998 World Bank study found that Grameen families were emerging from poverty at the rate of 10,000 per month. Other research indicates that almost half of Grameen Bank members have escaped poverty. A global movement has begun. Almost 50 million of the world's poorest families now put microloans to work. More than 100 programs use the Grameen model to break through poverty. But with 3 billion people living on less than $2 a day, the untapped market for microfinance remains vast. Grameen Foundation USA was created in 1997 to meet this challenge. It helps scores of up-and-coming microfinance institutions to reach for the scale and success of Grameen Bank. The foundation has delivered millions of dollars, along with technical support, to ensure their success. Its reach is global, spanning four continents, making an impact in regions as diverse as the Arab world, Southeast Asia, Central America, and even inner cities in the United States. Never before has a development strategy reached so many people so quickly and so efficiently. You put money into the system and it gets lent to a borrower and then it comes back. And then it gets lent again and it comes back and it stays working. And it's not spent once and it's gone. For perhaps the first time in history, an effective anti-poverty strategy exists that can create an impact that lasts well beyond the original investment.